Do you want to know what dermatologists say about syphilis? If you haven't seen it, it's seen you. And unfortunately, that's never been more true. If you've been following the news this week, you've probably seen that cases of syphilis are skyrocketing, even in babies. So as a dermatologist, I thought I'd give a quick overview about what syphilis is and what it looks like so you can recognize it. Because guess what? Dermatologists are the ones who diagnose this because it presents on the skin and can look just like your typical eczema, which is scary. And you're probably thinking right now, yeah, I'm not in the population that's going to get syphilis. I don't need to know this. Before you swipe, let me show you this one graph. These are the number of cases of syphilis over the past several years and the different population that it's affecting. And I want you to pay particular attention to one group, women. So back in 2017, look at the small proportion of women that are getting syphilis. And now look how it's grown over time. So it's not just affecting one patient population, it's affecting everyone. And it's affecting people of all ages. So let's get into what it looks like. Syphilis is caused by a bacterium named Treponema pallidum, and it's transmitted via direct intimate contact, meaning skin to skin. So after you come into contact with someone with syphilis, you get this lesion, typically in the groin, the lips, the mouth, the hands, and you get this painless little red bump that then opens up and ulcerates, what we call a chancre. Now, most of the time, this is painless, which is what we're taught in school, but in real life, it's not always painless and it can be quite painful. So that sticks around for about three to six weeks and then just disappears. Isn't that crazy? So then you're like, oh, I'm good. That ulcer went away. Nope, you still have syphilis. So what happens next? If left untreated after three to 10 weeks, you get what's called secondary syphilis. And that's when it presents like a rash just all over your skin. And that's what's scary because it's called the great mimicker. It looks like a lot of different rashes, most commonly eczema. Here's a few photos of secondary syphilis. It likes the hands but it also likes the body and looks just like eczema, which is why I think it's scary as a dermatologist. So that was a lot of information and I'm running out of time. If you want more information on secondary syphilis and then what tertiary syphilis is, that's when it goes into your nervous system. Let me know in the comments. But here's how to get tested. I recommend going to this website. It's a great search engine to find everywhere near you. But if you're not comfortable going into a clinic, these are the at-home tests, which I recommend, which have come a long ways in the past few years.